Okay, guys, are you guys ready for Red Cliff? I am. I am indeed. Let's head for what? Let's see, we're in Alistair. Yes. Uh, Sten? Yes. Oh, so we gotta face this motherfucker again? Uh, um... Yeah, who'd be better there? Oh, might as well bring yes. Braid. Let's go. We going to the... To the... Red Cliff Village. Oh, we got attacked by something. What's going on? There, more of the fiends ahead! <laughs> it is begun. I shall do it. As you say, it shall be done. Very well. You asked for it! I shall do it. It is begun. Hell yeah. Let's get him. It shall be done. Oh, there's a lot of them up here. Yes. I shall do it, as you say. Don't be a fool. As you say. It shall be done. I shall do it. Very well. Don't want to be a dude. I shall do it. I have silenced it. He's I have silenced it. She still got one. It shall be done. Die. As you don't know, like me. I shall ah. do it. Everything. Dog spawn. Okay. Stin. What's going on? Oh, Sten. Okay. Spot this. I'll make Sten the two-hander and give Alice the, the shield. Can't use Kellen's yet. You need 32. So I'll give you this guy's shield. And Sten, you be two-handed. There. Oh, he can use... Well, we're gonna wait until Alistair grows. Before we give him. Stin, you get the heavy armor. There you go. Yeah, it looks ridiculous on you now. Okay, we can get out of here now. They really killed this dude over there. He's probably just traveling around and he got attacked by a group of dark spawn. No reason, huh? Let's get out of here. Hmm? <sighs> I am fell. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, really, you're very observant. Are you alright? For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. You thought what was over? Everything. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. We gotta see what's wrong with her right quick before we go to Red Cliff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh oh, no. Too late. We'll find out at the Red Cliff. Look, can we talk for a moment? What? I need to tell you something. I, um. What's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. She probably getting something to eat. Cause didn't she get off at 5.30 today? Yeah. Why mom is not picking up her phone? Oh yeah. Doesn't that make you the heir to the throne? Make us breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Why tell me then? Why do I need to know? Because it will probably come up. I didn't want to walk into Redcliffe without you knowing the truth. That would be just awkward. I have no illusions about my status, however. It's always been made very clear that I'm a commoner, and now a Grey Warden, and in no way in line for the throne. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. As you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. We made it to the Red Cliff, you guys. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? What do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? I heard Earl Eamon is sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on. What is this evil that's attacking you? I, 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 I don't rightly know. I'm sorry. Nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Oh, here we go.
Hello, Belle. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travellers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes, though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. <laughs> Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Why? What has Loghain said about us? That Loghain pulled out his own men in order to save them. That Caelan risked the entire nation's safety in the name of glory. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead. Decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Of course we'll help. There are no darkspawn here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. If there's a chance to res rescue the Arl, we have to try. Perhaps. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. I'm scared, Mother. One of the bad Good day. Soon, darling. Don't worry. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds, my husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? I have something here from your husband. Oh? Oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this... Oh, no. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to make his blessings upon you. I already told you. Father is outside. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return and we sit here and wait for them. We have no choice. We must pray and hope for the Maker's compassion. I just hope everything will be all right. So many have already died. Sorry, am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you all right? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. 
everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. You need to be strong, girl. I understand, I do. I'm just so afraid for him. Okay. I made it to the point where I last record this, and now I'm gonna switch back to my other warden. So if you see like a change with the party or something like that, I will change them back, and Oster may be wearing his um, Templar outfit. So, check you guys later for the Battle of Redcliffe.